Welcome to hi fi I'm Marcos, and today we're going to be showing you how to go from good to great sound. Check it out. What you don't know about Kurt, he's got over 20 years of experience working in both distribution and retail in audio. He's learned so much from his peers, visiting multiple world-class recording studios such as Capitol Records, and he's set up hundreds, if not even thousands of systems for customers. In this series, we'll be following in depth on how to fine tune your system step-by-step. Step. In addition, Kurt has been producing test tracks to help you fine tune your system. At the end of this video, we'll be sharing a sample test track with you. So just to give you some info, how we recorded that rain video, it was done a long time ago and it was, it was something just for fun, just to see if we can even pick it up on a microphone, which wasn't even a very expensive microphone at the time. We did one recording using the exact same speakers, exact exact same position of the microphone, everything the same, so all everything was controlled. But what we did was we set the speakers in line, not towed in uh, at zero degrees, and not also placed optimally. And no, we didn't cheat and turn the speaker backwards or something like that. It was just not, I would say, in the ideal positioning. Also, what we did was we removed some, about 50% of the acoustic paneling in the room and we also turned off anything that we could have done on the DSP and that's the difference how we got in that rain video that you that you hear so in this series of video um, to let you know we will be touching on both Atmos setup and as well as stereo setup in this particular video to let you know what we're gonna do is we're just gonna touch on all the points which are the three ingredients that is necessary and then we will do it, as Marcos mentioned, we're gonna do in-depth videos um, as we go in the next following months. So basically the, the, the three topics that we're gonna cover is speaker placement, acoustics, and anything to do with the DSP like Dirac. One of the things too is I am Dirac certified, which I completed, and we'll be going through tips that I've learned and also how to properly implement some of these DSP. We're really excited to be sharing this series with you to help you tune your system to its full potential. I've been pushing Kurt to share his knowledge with as many people as possible and that's a big part of this channel is to make audio more approachable for everybody. If you're excited about this learning journey, same like me, Please like, subscribe, and help me nag Kurt to produce more of these videos. I'm pumped. Now, Kurt is gonna explain what this sample test track is actually for. So in this test track, it's just gonna be really simple. You're gonna hear three sounds of a hi-hat, and the one thing is, doing a higher frequencies, it, it's easier, it's easier to, to make it image properly. So this is just, again, a simple test. You're gonna hear a sound from starting from the left speaker, yes, about a foot away from the the sound of the hi-hat should be a foot away from the speaker. Then next you're gonna hear one straight right in the middle. And then you're gonna hear one again, right beside uh, the speaker again, the right speaker. When listening to this track, you should hear that all the notes should be pretty even. Uh, this is a good way to determine also too is kind of even almost like speaker distance. But again, we'll go more in detail about that. So all the notes should be sound quite even to, to your ear. And also too is the moment you hear something, if it sounds, if everything goes all the way to one speaker and doesn't sound like it's, it's just right next to the speaker, something is off. And you'll also find when you're using this track, just try it, it's neat. The speaker that you think is the culprit is not always the case. So sometimes you'll go to the opposite speaker, fix the tone, and even just for fun, exaggerate the tone, and you'll see how that sound moves. 
the reason why we have to do it just right beside the speaker is because you need information from both the left and the right. If you did a track just that tested left, center, right, well, when your right speaker turns on, it basically would, it's like operating in mono. So even if any changes affect, like say the speaker was off, it will always sound like it's coming from the right side. And that's the reason why I mix this to make it sound just beside the speaker. Give that a try. And also, if you have any questions, put in the comment below. See, see how your system is performing. Because remember, this is just more not of a setup a test. This is more just to see where you're at. However, you can still play around with it and use it and see how it affects your system. Uh, make sure you follow us and because what we were going to what we're going to be doing is quite more of in-depth testing um, and this will really go through each track and each stage that we that we talk through it will be a more a more in-depth sample tracks that will really be able to see how your system is performing and what problems maybe need to be addressed thanks for watching and we look forward to releasing more tracks for you and we'll see you in the next one.